Don't tell your mother Kiss one another Die for each other We're cold for the summer So, what's up guys? So, this video I'm kind of pissed at having to make because it's really been one of those things I've been been holding off making, dreading to make, even even contemplating whether it's worth making at all. But I figured I ought to just do a response to what happened to me in the last few days, or at least what happened to what I found out on Thursday. As it's Sunday as of the time of this recording. So, on the 29th, October 29th, on Thursday, I just happened to be, actually no, I think it was actually Wednesday, October 28th, but anyway, October 28th or 29th, I was going through my videos and just happened to, you know, I was checking on things, making sure that there wasn't any, you know, BS going on, that there, you know, I was checking um, you know, ma making sure the content was o okay. I, I routinely check in on my um, video um, QA, and um, I, I usually try to do my best to keep tabs on comments and likes and other things and stuff like that, considering that YouTube has royally screwed everything to the point where you have to go through 50,000, you know, tabs and things to try to get to what you're doing. So, I end up clicking on copyright notices. You know, I don't usually get too many of them. I mean, I might get a, you know, a fling here or there, you know, on, you know, certain things. And, and I completely understand. And for the most part, as much as I think that copyright claims and the digital copyright acts and stuff like that that we have in this society is absolute BS, I didn't really, I don't usually think too much of it whenever I get a, you know, get a ping about my copyright notices because my YouTube channel is in good standing. It still is. Um, it's just, it's aggravating sometimes when you see things like that. It's also another reason why I don't monetize my videos because I've also seen how YouTubers get screwed over. And it was it's one of those things that I've taught I've thought about numerous times over the years. I've even had fans of the show, of my show um, who asked me why don't I monetize my videos? And plain and simple truth was I didn't really I, it's not that I didn't want to, it's just the fact that, you know, I didn't really see too much of a point, and I kind of figured that YouTube was eventually going to screw people over anyway, and lo and behold, I was fucking right. And so there's a reason why I didn't fuck with it. I mean, at one point, there were certain YouTubers that were making fucking $2,000 a month. Some even more than that. Some that were making, like, considerable chunks of change. And now, some of them are barely scraping by with like a hundred dollars. Some even less than that. That's how screwed the whole thing is. And that, you know, because the recommended for you thing in the sidebar. It's also the fact that they're screwing us with this whole copyright BS with their claims with uh, Warner, Sony, and Universal. So what happened when I clicked on my copyright notices? Well, some of you might remember a little video I put up with my friend Dahlia a few, uh, about a few weeks back. It was uh, probably about almost a month and a half ago. It was right after I, uh, my old computer uh, got the screen broke and I had to get this new one. Um, and so I ended up having issues going on there, but I managed to eventually upload the video. Um, and I happened to have filmed this video in a Starbucks, in a local Starbucks, because that was the only place that was more intimate enough where me and her could kind of carry on this conversation, you know, basically this video 
without too many distractions and, you know, oh, you know, away from, you know, judgmental douches. And, I mean, as everybody knows, one of the things that Starbucks happens to do is play crappy hipster music. So I, but, you know, I didn't really think too much of that. I just thought, you know, it's Starbucks. So what? There's some music in the background. Who gives a fuck? Well, apparently YouTube does, because it recognized the loud fucking music blasting in the fucking co uh, the freaking coffee house. And so what happened? They fly, they, they they block my video in certain countries, namely I'm assuming probably Germany and a few other countries. But they blocked my video and flagged me with 14, not four, not one, not even, not two, not, not, 14 fucking copyright claims from various BS people with claims coming from Universal, who, who are, I guess, contracted with Universal, uh, Universal Music Group, Warner, Warner Music Group, and Sony, Sony Music Group. Yeah. Fourteen fucking copyright notices on that one fucking video. Just because I happened to be in a coffee house where there was music playing in the background. Now keep in mind, I sometimes put music in my videos, you know, you know, as filler or something like that. I even have, you know, theme music, obviously, to play before and after my videos. But I usually don't put full fucking things in there, and if I do, I usually acknowledge the the third-party content, which apparently has gotten so fucking complicated now to do on YouTube because they fucked with shit a few months back. So I can't even do that anymore. And it's the fact that, you know, and most of the time I just use little snippets anyway. But this video did not even have any music edited into the the uh, that was edited into it other than my my theme music my my intro basically my my communistical uh, music that I that I usually start my broadcast videos with as well as my theme music that was all that was that was all that was edited into the process. None of those songs were edited into the were edited into the video, and there's no way I can edit those fucking that that fucking music out of it. Absolutely no way. Even with with better friggin' shit going on, I would not even be able to do that because it was ingrained within the audio because it was playing in the background. So the only logical thing I could do would basically be to turn the audio off. And then what's the point of that if you can't even fucking hear me? It's just a couple of people, you know, going back and forth and you can't, you know, unless you can read lips. Yeah. So it's completely fucking retarded. Fourteen fucking copyright claims over something I had no control over. And of course, there's probably some of those fucking, you know, you know, corporate cocksucker apologists that'll probably say, well, you could have done it somewhere, at the video somewhere else. Fuck you. I am not going to be told or controlled into going in, in, into where I can film my fucking videos. Where I film my videos and what I say in my videos is my fucking choice. It is my First Amendment right. And to control me and tell me where I can 
do my videos is almost the same in fact it, in my opinion is the same as telling is controlling and telling me what I can and can't say in my videos that is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video why I'm so pissed why I'm responding to the YouTube copyright claims I'm not going to be bullied by some pissant corporation by, by un, that's under the umbrella of Google and has fucking and basically sucking and jerking the cocks of Universal, Sony, and Warner. I'm not going to put up with that crap and I'm going to continue to fight this. I'm going to continue to fight this even if it means my YouTube channel being being taken down. I'll come back. And to be honest, I'll come back with a fucking vengeance. And I plan to write to Warner, I plan to write to Sony, and I plan to write to Universal asking for them to acknowledge the copyright claims and basically allow me to have my video be circulated worldwide. I'm not usually a person that worries about views, and as long as it's, view I, it's view viewable in my own country, I usually don't have a problem with it. You know, as long as it's viewed by somebody, I usually don't have a problem with it. But the fact that they're flagging me for some BS shit I can't control is retarded and it's fascist. I frankly think that this is completely ridiculous. And because it was a video called White Arrogance or White Ignorance, because that was the name of the video, it was discussing the idea of white privilege and a lot of different things going on with that video. Um, going on especially in concerns to the killings of African American individuals you know over the last few years and the fact that white people tend to deny uh, this idea that they have privilege and, and blah 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 so not, I, I don't mean to be this person because usually I am so much above this but I really do think this is politically motivated. And I have a theory on that. Recently, if any of you followed Jason Unruh's channel, Malice Rebel News' channel, you'll understand that he did a video about how he busted his ass for over the last few years, six years, almost seven. And one of the things that happened to him is that his YouTube videos started being demonetized, particularly the ones on the uh, of him defending uh, the D the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, i.e., North Korea, and that definitely, to me, screams political motivation for a lot of this crap. Like hundreds of videos of his have been demonetized because of some BS idiocy going on at YouTube. I mean, there's a lot of things even other YouTubers say that for some reason their videos are mysteriously and just somehow turning up demonetized or even being removed. That This is a complete violation of our First Amendment rights. This is taking digital copyright and the, the idea of you know of copyright and the idea of you know what we can and can't say and what we can and can't put in our videos this is taking it to an entirely totalitarian level to the point where you're trying to control the things that we can't control that you're trying to put stops to things that we can't control in our videos so your response is to start flagging us demonetize our videos or fucking put up 14 motherfucking copyright claims and and which I can only chalk up to a plan to try to you know fuck and screw around with my with my good standing on YouTube I just I don't I I can't think of anything more other than this has got to be politically motivated I mean, what's next? You're going to start flagging my videos because I happen to have, you know, giants fucking symbols in my background that I have kings, the sack hornets, uh, river cats. You know, you're going to start flagging me because I happen to have a, the, a homemade V for Vendetta symbol up there. 
like what? Are you, what, what? What are you still gonna start flagging me for next? What are you gonna start flagging other community members for next? This, this has got. This is motivated in some way. It's got to be. Especially for a video that was, that was a very touchy issue, a very touchy subject concerning white privilege and race, racial issues in America, which is a very touchy issue, especially right now, especially concerning issues going, ongoing with the police, especially you know, particularly concerning um, what's her name at Spring Valley High School, a video that I'll actually be putting out later. Yeah, what about, what, yeah, these, talking about these issues are controversial, no shit. That's no reason to go around fucking picking on the, on YouTubers big and small for what they, you know, for their views. And technically I think this is also a bias as well, considering I am a small Marxist YouTuber. I'm not a big person, I'm not big on, a uh, big... I'm not like this gigantic popular YouTuber like, you know, Jason Unruh or other YouTubers out there like the Amazing Atheist. I'm not like them. But yet, if they did this sort, you know, some sort of talk on this, you know, they may be flagged, they may be not. But because I'm just some piss, little pissant, you think that you have a right to step all over me. But then again, you think you have a right to step on anybody, not just me. So yeah, I think this is politically motivated. I think this is also a tremendous bias for the YouTube uh, by YouTube and by Google on the small marks or uh, the small U smaller YouTubers that put videos out there. I've already filed a dispute with YouTube, and I can and I will tell you right now I can I'm going to continue to fight against it. I'm going to continue to fight against it until this claim is re th these this copyright BS is resolved. I plan to write to these corporations explaining the situation, and that I intend for them to remove their copyright claims and let me do as I please. I'm not violating the terms and conditions of YouTube at all. I have been very fortunate that I've remained in this community because I've actually followed the guidelines given by YouTube for the longest fucking time now. But this BS right here is just absolutely unforgivable. It's absolutely ridiculous. So yeah I'm fucking pissed and I think that something really needs to be done because I'm busting my ass putting out the best I can do for content and trying to come up with new theories and all these ideas and stuff like that and educating people on different ideas and theories and ideologies uh, and educating them on political issues and current issues and other things and, and real social issues that aren't completely talked about. I really do my best to try and be that person that's able to give some sort of viewpoint to anybody that's willing to listen. I bust my ass. I give myself fucking headaches sometimes trying to literally piece together some of these things. I go out of my way to actually set up, you know, meetings with friends and other guests and stuff like that so that I can actually provide some, you know, some sort of thing going on. And this is what happens. So, yeah. YouTube, fuck you. Google, fuck you twice. And to Warner, Sony, and Universal, who want to who wanted to flag my fucking videos for copyright, stick it up your ass. 
you fucking corporate cock-sucking bastards. Go to hell. Seriously. You're gonna flag my fucking video because it happens to have some of your music playing in the background that I have no fucking control over? Fuck you. And fuck Google and YouTube for their shitty fucking third-party content bots that, you know, seek out every little flaw in people's videos. And then flag them for that. Fuck you. Again, the fact that this... That I have so many goddamn claims on my video... Seriously makes me... Just... Want to punch somebody. It literally makes me want to just fucking punch somebody in the fucking face. So, yeah, I, I'm done. For right, I'm just irritated that this has to, that this is what I have to deal with. That because I happen to put out one video, one particular video, dealing with white privilege and dealing with white, you know, this, this crappy sense of white supremacy and, uh, you know that exists within our country and this you know and, and trying to educate people on the rate on racial issues when it concerns basically what is white colonizer mentality against other minorities I post that one particular video with one of my friends in it in which we happened to be at a Starbucks where they were, bla and I agree, blasting the fucking music at 150 decibels a minute. And yet, and because of that, because of something beyond my control, I'm going to get flagged for it. Screw off. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.